get by It resides between my eyes Walk through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a beach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Live from the Sweet and Snack Show Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, live at the Sweet and Snack Show. I'm here with 88 Acres and the founder, Rob, and um, co-founder. probably co-founder. co-founder. We don't want to leave someone out. My wife and I. Okay. You definitely don't want to leave your wife no, out. So talk about starting the company the, with your wife. Okay. Talk about that for a second. Um, it's been fantastic. I think that um, before we launched the business, we were both working. She was working in finance and I was working in tech. Um, what did you do in tech? Um, I was working for a wireless communications, um, uh, like waste and recycling technology company. Okay. Um, but where did the idea the, come from? Uh, for the business. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm deathly allergic to peanuts and tree nuts. My wife Nicole has no food allergies, but she grew up on an 88-acre farm in Central Mass. Do you want me to look at the camera, yeah, or do you want me, me to? Music, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Sure. Um, so, um, I'm deathly allergic to peanuts and tree nuts. My wife Nicole uh, grew up on an 88-acre farm. We met on Match.com in 2010, which should give you a rough idea of how old we are because we didn't meet on <laughs> Tinder. Um, and we're out to dinner in Boston on our fourth date. My meal was cross-contaminated with nuts, oh, wow. and she had to rush me to the ER. Wow. Um, uh, she met my parents for the first time there, uh, and it was that was all a hoax. You just wanted her to like take I, care of you. I just wanted the <laughs> I, I wanted the fifth pity date. Right. Um, so uh, that was very much the genesis for. So you're severely allergic. You yeah. Know, like a little bit of cross contamination. Yeah. yeah. So that was very much the genesis for a lot of conversation between her and I. And um, at the time, we were training for a long distance triathlon. We always struggled to find healthy, convenient snacks that were safe for me, but that she would enjoy, and that had a brand that we both uh, were inspired by. Yeah. So um, we started creating things in our apartment just for ourselves, and what soon was enough. The first couple of things you were. So you were we working um, so we started using seeds as the base protein, and we were making bars and bites. Um, and friends started to steal them, and then next thing you knew it, we were staying up all night making hundreds to pass out at different workout events and food events throughout the city. Um, one thing led to another, and we got in, uh, we were fortunate enough to um, have a meeting with Whole Foods in our home region uh, in New England, and uh, Whole Foods agreed to give us a shot. And what that, were the first products? So we la- we originally launched with a line of bars. Yeah, so um, I'm building here the the cinnamon. What's in this one? Uh, so it's pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and flax seeds as the base protein. Yeah. Uh, we use a purity protocol, gluten-free, uh, certified oat, mm. and then there's the flavoring ingredients. So we bake all of our bars. So it's really the same exact production process uh, uh, that we have today um, as we were originally making the bars for ourselves at home. We just now have a bigger oven. So. Um Talk about the evolution of the product. So yeah. what were the flavors originally and what do you guys have now? Yeah, sure. So um, we started off making bars for ourselves. Um, we knew that when we wanted to launch the business uh, that we were going to um, have issues finding a co-packer to um, manufacture for us. Um, and the reason being is because we wanted to be in a facility that was free of the most exactly. common food allergens. Like the people who probably produce these probably also do nuts and yeah. other things that would cross contaminate. Yeah, and then we also wanted the ability to drive uh, purposeful job creation into an area of need. My wife Nicole grew up on an 88-acre farm in Central Massachusetts, um, and uh, how we think about 
community development within our company is a natural extension of her experience growing up in North Brookfield. Right. Um, and so we built a bakery in the inner city of Boston in the back end mm. of 2014. Wow. And we launched the business in early 2015 with a line of bars. What's that area like? In Dorchester. Yeah. Um, it's an amazing community. Um, uh, and we're like extremely fortunate to have an amazing bakery team. Uh, the vast majority of them walk to work. Um, and we've never, we hire by referral only in our bakery. Um, and uh, we're extremely proud of the culture that we've been able to create there. So you went from bars. So we, yeah. we never viewed ourselves as a bar company. Um, we're building a brand platform on an ingredient foundation of seeds. And bars was just our first entry point right. because that's what we were making for ourselves at home. Right. And so uh, we're a zero food waste bakery. We upcycle all of our bar production excess hmm. into a crunchy granola cluster that we sell on our own website and then also to some food service partners. A couple of years after we launched bars, we launched a line of seed butters. So there had been a lot of innovation in the nut butter category over the last 20 years, beginning with brands that we very much admire, um, but not a whole lot with seeds. And so uh, we uh, sat down with our, uh, the buyers in the, our home region of Whole Foods and shared with them some, some concepts for seed butters. Mm. So a couple flavors of sunflower seed butters and some pumpkin seed butter. And That's smart. Instead of just going out and producing it, getting some feedback. Yeah, first. we. we uh, I mean, when we first met with Whole Foods with our bars, we brought them bars and Ziploc bags. And when we first brought uh, our butters, we had concepts of our butters. It was butters in mason jars. Right. Um, and uh, they agreed to launch our seed butters, um, and so we rolled those out in early 2017. And fast forward to today, we have lines of pumpkin, sunflower, and now watermelon, in addition to single-serve squeeze pouches. And we're doing everything in-house in our bakery in Dorchester. Um, so how did you come to, I think, you know, walking around here in the past few days, it's probably one of the most, if not the most innovative thing I've seen. I've not seen something like this, which is a roasted watermelon seed butter. Yep. How did you come up with, with that? Um, I'm extremely fortunate to uh, be a part of a team where I'm surrounded by a, a people that are a lot smarter with food than I am. Um, and we were just messing around with lots of different types of seeds in our office kitchen. And uh, the watermelon seed was super unique. It had this really light mouthfeel that kind of had a mouthfeel of like hummus mm. and it tasted kind of like a bell pepper. And it works amazingly well as a finished product, but also as an ingredient. Um, and nutritionally, it's a total powerhouse. So it has eight or nine grams of protein, super high in micronutrients, and the water footprint of all seeds, but especially watermelon seeds, is super efficient in comparison to nuts. Wow. And so um, what's the process like of producing this compared to this? I imagine it's a much different process. Yeah, yeah. So um, for seed butters, um, it's a pretty, both for bars and butters, it's a pretty straightforward process. So we roast the seeds, we grind the seeds, we uh, add a little bit of sun, organic sunflower oil and some sea salt. Um, and for the butters where there's flavors, we add the, um, uh, the flavoring components. Um, and then we blend it all together and put it into a jar or a pouch. For our bars, it's kind of a similar process. We blend all the dry ingredients together. We blend, uh, integrate the, the wet ingredients. So our uh, New Hampshire maple syrup, our organic brown rice syrup. Uh, we mix everything together, put it in the oven, uh, and out comes wow. a whole bunch of bars that we then cut up and wrap and they go onto store shelves. So where can people find the products? So um, we're available through 88acres.com. Um, we're available throughout natural grocers, um, uh, for the most part nationally. Um, and we're extremely excited about all the different retail partners that we've been able to um, forge since we launched the business four years ago. Two last things, Rob, thank you. Everyone should check out 88 Acres. Now I get where the name comes from, obviously. Um, you know, there's always challenges in the business. Talk about some of the challenges, and then on the flip side, a proud moment for you. Um, Besides, so, you know, you know, there's always probably an interesting dynamic with uh, with spouse. What's what's been a challenge with the the business? 
Um, so I think that uh, Nicole and I are extremely lucky where, um, where she's really strong, I'm not as strong, um, and we balance each other out really, really well. Um, and so she has her area of focus and I have my area of focus and we complement each other really well. Yeah. Um, I think that it's made us better co-founders um, because at the end of the day, we have to go home and be amazing parents right. to our son. And so we have to learn, we had to learn how to communicate effectively and uh, be very direct in conflict resolution in order to have just do whatever she says is the conflict resolution totally totally <laughs> in order to in order to have a like a successful working relationship and, a, and also be um, you know uh, great life partners as well um, from a challenge perspective I think that um, you know we've been uh, uh, we've been fortunate enough to build um, to have an amazing group of team members that uh, lift the entire company up and we've had to be really self-aware of our weaknesses in order to um, propel the company forward. Yeah. So what about proud moment so far? Um, so I think that anytime that I see a stranger buying one of our products, it's like, I'm like super starstruck. Um, yeah. And uh, we, uh, we found out the other day that um, a, uh, a band member of like a pretty famous band uh, him and his family had been has been buying our products unbeknownst mm -hmm. to us for the last couple of years. We're like, oh my goodness! Like I've seen them in concert. This is the the coolest thing ever. So um, you know, the opportunity uh, for us to share really healthy, delicious snacks um, uh, with a large community is super exciting, and it's really humbling to think back to the days of us making bars in our apartment and having friends and family come over, wrapping them in parchment bags and putting stickers on top and, hand, and handing them out at like food events. Um, and so we've, you know, we've come a long way and um, it's been super proud to, to see what's been, you know, what's been able to build with uh, a whole lot of team effort. Congrats and let's point people online uh, 88, uh, our website's 88acres.com, um, and you can learn more about the brand, and you can also follow us on Instagram. 88acres.com. Yep. Try the watermelon seed butter. It's super good. Yeah. It really is. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side.